Tyler here from Golf Smart Academy. Um, I want to thank Claudine for letting me be a guest blogger, guest presenter on her 365 days of movement. I really enjoy her, her blog and her stuff, and I'm happy to be a part of it. So I know she focuses a lot on the core, which I love as well, but occasionally we got to do some fun stuff like forearm training. So that's why I've got a golf ball in my wedge. I'm going to teach you how to juggle the golf ball. So juggling is basically a time killer for when you're playing in tournaments and you have to wait 15 minutes on a tee. So that's where most of us got the practice. Let me show you how to do it. So when you're practicing and learning how to do it, you want to put the grip up against your forearm. The main goal in this is to keep the face flat. If it rotates closed or open or points away from per parallel to the ground, you're going to have trouble keeping the ball in front of you. So grip with your hand on top, kind of like a frying pan, forearm up against it, face flat, and you're just going to practice bouncing towards the center, making little adjustments. Once you can get to about 20, 30 bounces, then you're ready to try a little bit more advanced. You're gonna go all the way down towards the grip and work on it there. And you'll see it floats around a little bit because uh, you gotta react to where the ball's going, right? Trying to hit it in the sweet spot. Now, once you can do that pretty well, there's some advanced things you can do. Like you can switch hands. So you can try and start with one hand and then switch to the other. Sometimes your grip gets messed up, but sometimes it doesn't. You can go between the legs. You can go from between the legs to behind the back. Oh, I thought I was gonna get it in one take. All right, so from between the legs to behind the back. You can practice that one, it's kinda tricky. Uh, cradle, which is I think one of the hardest ones. Like so. Cradle, you basically have to bring the club up to where it's even with the golf ball and then just let it fall at the same rate as the golf ball and it'll kind of stick to the face is the best way I can describe it. So you can work on these forearm movements or you can work on Claudine's favorite forearm movements, which is what she does as part of a dance move. So if you've never asked, seen her, ask her to do her only dance move and she will gladly show you, but it looks a little something like this. She does a lot of these little window circles, and that's how she does her forearm exercises. I prefer doing something a little more fun, like bouncing a golf ball. So thanks again, Claudine. 365 days of movement, 365 days of happiness.